I'm Jake Telford. I'm from Caldwell, Idaho. I'm a rain cow horse trainer. Uh, I'm one of the NRCHA's million dollar riders and you could get in touch with me through my website at jaketelfordcowhorses.com. Today I'd like to give you a tip on uh, showing the horse you brought to town. When I started out uh, coming to these horse shows, I'd show up and I would see Todd Bergen sliding his horse 20 feet and I'd see Ted Robinson turning around 100 miles an hour and by the time I got to the show pen, I had worked on that so much that I didn't have any horse left. And it took me a long time to learn to try to just show the judges what my horse was capable of. At that point in my career, I didn't have the horses that were capable of doing some of those things that I saw the more advanced trainers doing. Um, but I learned over the years through being consistent and showing what my horses had, uh, you can place along. There's a lot of money to be won. Maybe you're not going to win first, but if you show the horse to the best of its ability, your owners are going to appreciate that and you're going to have some pride, some self-pride in, in doing the best you know that that horse can do. And in doing that, through a long period of time, those better horses started to come into my barn and then I could kind of achieve the, the things that I wanted to, that I saw those other guys doing. And I see a lot of non-pros that have that same problem. They show up and see Annie Reynolds, you know, turning her horse 100 miles an hour or running her circles fast or whatever it may be. And I try to just tell them, you know, that to, to show what you brought to town. Maybe you can't afford to buy that expensive horse that can do those maneuvers, but there is a lot of, a lot of money to be won and a lot of placing and, and some of those good horses are gonna stumble here and there. And if you're consistent and you consistently show your horse to the best of its ability, you're gonna have success. I hope that helps and have a good day.